Well, I guess that's uh, the screen area. But who knows, sir? Yeah, I probably should have started with the old previously on Mad Commodore. Yeah, we're not doing that. I've already said that. Uh, because I'm too lazy to make that kind of bullshit. Not because I can't do it. Now, where's my goddamn CRT glasses? Damn it, I thought I was ready. This is not a full charge on the camera, Mad Commodore. Uh, I can't even remember what I was doing though now. Uh, we got the uh, Admiral. Adama glasses there, but I'll skip them and go with the old, uh, uh, what's his name, Noah Bennett in uh, Heroes glasses. I think they're called, uh, what are they called? Horn rimmed glasses, although they're not, actually, because the horn rim is missing. So, we've got seven boffins. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go somewhere now, pick up a couple of boffins. Sounds like a very nerdy speed dating activity, but no. Went somewhere with a low number of aliens and boffins. We only need two boffins. Well, I don't think I've actually been to this area. So I've seen them graphics. And them ones, and them ones. I've seen all of these graphics, actually. Fucking hell, look, look. Right at the, so these are the later levels of the game. But you won't be able to go there without the trainers, because, um, you know, which is a good idea, because you need to equip your ship to handle that kind of bullshit. Uh, come on, uh, I think the uh, only option is down here somewhere. So let's go. Two boffins for you. The boffins are indestructible with a trainer, but that wouldn't be. Uh, I mean, look, yeah, look at that. There you go, put the volume down. Oops. Yeah, you should never do that. So, is this the right place? So, I want to go. Right, here we go. Right, so. get three chances maximum but do we have nine boffins now yes we do so you don't need to drop off the boffins uh, if you don't need to so there's that so now we got to do is uh, fucking land a bastard because we need uh, three more parts because it's four there. Um, we need one blueprint for the maintenance droid. Uh, but you could actually go with shields. Because you only need one more boffin. And the rest are the same. Now because I've got the, the trainer options on. So I think I know what you've got to do now. In terms of that. So I think we're almost ready to start playing this game properly, which is a real pain in it. If I just had like some decent instructions, you know, the actual instructions, and then from there, if they're not enough, then I can. Uh... But there is no website where you go in there and it tells you this is this, 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 this. You do this, that, and the other. There is a review. I think the channel was called Geiger Punk. Uh, that was a talkie review 
and he did explain what he was doing. He's a he's another YouTuber that had this game back then as well. So he's trying to basically uh, you know replay it. So you know. So now you only need uh, one pot for the um, for the thrusters. We need, you know, you know what? We need to do better. This millennial quality uh, landing that I've been doing is no good for me. So we just have to try again. So can we land here again? Yeah. Once you've gone through the tunnel, you can't actually uh, go back to that part of the map. So. <clears throat> but if you didn't have the trainer options on you won't be able to go through the tunnel unless all the aliens are clear anyway so there you go stingy motherfuckers only one one part in the parts crate so maybe the uh, platforms that go up and down so that's a very stylish game I have to say you know, a game of this type, you know, this kind of shoot 'em up, this is the most. Yeah, it's probably why I really like this game, because I'm really intelligent. And uh, that's not an arrogant thing to say. My IQ score is like 137 or something. Well, it was in my mid 30s when I took an IQ test, just out of interest. And then, just in case that was a fluke, I took another one, it was like 134. So. You know, I think that was only sort of like a couple of weeks later, maybe. So we do need one more boffin. That is, you know, actually, I don't think we do. I think we've got nine boffins now. So if you want to go back to the map, you land here on the empty dome, and the one with like the uh, buildings inside the dome is where you exit to the tunnel. So. Obviously, I'm not actually playing the game now. I want to, I want to see what the maintenance droid. Ah, uh, mind you, because we've got the trainers on. I can't. Yeah. So there's certain things I don't agree with. Uh, look, there's two parts in the park crate, so we can have that. As far as I know, you can always go back to your base, so it's a bit like uh, Star Raiders 2 in that aspect, which you should never play on the C64. In, in fact, doesn't exist on the C64. I reject your reality and replace it with my own. That's what he used to say on Mythbusters. So, we got, we ain't got enough parts yet. Hmm. Got enough boffins. So we could actually upgrade, it's really the parts that we're uh, missing. Uh, we could actually upgrade the cargo, which would help with the collection of boffins, but they're not really an issue. It's really a parts issue. It's like when you go to the mechanic and he says, yeah, it's really a parts problem, mate. Unlike when that cocksucker drove into the back of my fucking uh, white BMW coupe in his piece of shit. And then uh, ran off into like the, uh, they weren't really tower blocks. But they were like these four story ugly buildings from the 60s. And uh, there was no way for the police to actually find out which particular uh, flat he went into. And their car was stolen, and I had third party uh, fire and theft insurance, so they didn't cover me. So I had to fix that car. So after spending like 1500 quid on bodywork by the. Uh, I can't remember if they were Kosovan or Croatian, actually. Uh, garage there. <clears throat> Who, uh, as a free bonus, left a cigarette burn in the uh, back of my uh, car on the seat and uh, which is still there to this day because I haven't swapped out the seats yet for the uh, lovely leather sports uh, seats I bought for it 
black interior, white car. You gotta make the best of that car. Still haven't found the uh, M3 front bumper. That's the last thing I need. Wheels are relatively easy to find. So. I don't know which is the best option now because we are short on parts but we could upgrade the thrusters and the boosters so let's do that so we're on level zero and there's yeah so there's quite a way to go on that maybe uh, thrusters is uh, this actual direction change so Uh, if you want to repair your, uh, you know, the damage to your ship, you have to use uh, parts for that. I think it's one part for every little notch that it goes up. It's kind of a bit like Colin McRae Rally here. It is pretty an, an amazing thing to find a game like this, if you never had this game. Or if, like me, you just completely forgotten what it was like. So we're nearly at the maximum level for whatever thrusters do. Let's go back out there and uh, test out our little Subaru Impreza. No, it's the Scorpio from uh, Season 4 of Blake 7. We had this conversation. So obviously, uh, the further you get in the game, uh, the more aliens there are on each section. But uh, we can't go there because we've been through the tunnel. So I suppose that's like casual sex never allowed to go in that tunnel ever again only once one time so way too many aliens there let's go down here let's try and get all the boffins here because we, we're certainly not top speed and it's not the deceleration so I don't know what the thrusters did maybe it is top speed maybe you accelerate as fast as a Titanic who knows but your radar is really important on this game. Now obviously I've got indestructible boffins. And uh, famously boffins are not indestructible. They're quite delicate. As George Costanza calls them. The delicate geniuses. So actually this is worse. So maybe you should only update all of the uh, engine related stuff. You know one at a time. And the problem is I can't remember where I was. Anyway, there's two more boffins there, so you can just go and harvest the boffins, I suppose. It sounds a bit creepy, and it probably is. There you go. Come on, mate. Come on. See, my problem with this game is you really need uh, all the uh, controls maxed out and the anti-grav for it to be really something that I would play now. Uh, we're just stocking up on boffins at the moment. Uh, so we've got 13 boffins. And we need... We need some for retros and blasters. But mostly it's parts. So the next time... We, so we need loads of parts now. So... I, yeah. I think we'll go somewhere where there's two boffins go through the tunnel sounds like a good night out to me if you're a nerd but anyway so like I said it's really you've just got to harvest your resources it is literally as strategic as a defender of the crown now you wouldn't actually shoot them like this without looking at the radar or actually fly over them I don't know if that would kill them if you did that so you got mountains in the background and you're picking up, uh, you know, stranded humans. It is Rescue on Fractalus, the side-scrolling version. So they have taken the best elements of a lot of very varied games and done a very good job of writing uh, a game with some of those elements. Now, if, if you're looking for a Defender clone or a Choplifter clone, and go and play Guardian by uh, Alligator. It's, you know, 
it's not that kind of thing. Oh shit, you have to be. Ah, you have to time it just right, mate. Maybe the first one that comes across actually has more parts and stuff in it. So we can just go raiding anywhere where there's zero boffins left and go straight down the uh, tunnel. You should buy me a Happy Meal first, at least. <laughs> that was luck. Oh no, there's, they're, they're either stingy or they're stingy. Now bear in mind, sometimes you'll need ammo. So again, we, we're not actually playing this game as such and I'm certainly not reviewing this game I am just really testing out the game getting used to the game you know you don't get a bicycle without training wheels on there and just fucking you know your, your dad says yeah go on go and ride your, your rally striker mate ah oh, what a cunt I think they end up there anyway didn't they oh, yeah, and there's only two there yeah, that's a, a one-shot deal. So that's where the skill comes in. It's like Delta when you're trying to power up your ship. But at least you don't lose a life here. So they have taken that part of Delta and uh, taken out the floor. Oh, fucking hell. Come on, I need parts, mate. Yeah, and uh, I'll finish the story with that poor BMW. Um, after all the bodywork was fixed, um, the car was overheating and it turned out to be this, uh, it's like 15 centimetre bit of piping behind the engine, right up against the bulkhead. So they had to, they had to actually lift the engine out to change that part. So the part was 20 quid and the labour for it was fucking 500. And that's what happened to my, uh, you know, 1988 BMW 325i Sport that I had bought. I had to sell that within about three months of buying it. To fund the repairs on the white car. Now fucking almost bankrupt me actually. Probably should have written off the car and uh, gone back to going on on public transport and for another three years or whatever but i've done that for like three four fucking years already and i, I was like fed up with that shit shit i oh, know see because they're going down ah, what bastard they're really difficult So the tunnel sequences are actually really good. There's like proper overlaid parallax. Why oh, wasn't it going near there? So, you know, like I'm saying here, uh, what, what we're doing now is I just really want to get a feel for what the upgrades do to the actual, uh, you know, the performance of your crappy ship. That's the one thing about this game I don't agree with. And I don't agree with that on... Um, radius either you know games like that your your ship is just too slow and too pathetically armed when you start it shouldn't be like that i'm not saying you should start with shields and four multiples and you know even double shots or possibly missiles you yeah, know but on scramble you had missiles from the very start that's a i think that's a konami game is it yeah anyway but um, right, we'll do one more and hopefully we'll pick up some more parts so it's best to, yeah three parts so it's, it's pretty random so I always start off uh, at that same place right so we've got nine parts So, retro thrusters is probably what stops you. So that uses not that many parts. So we do three of those, and we should have enough for uh, 
three lots of booster upgrades as well. So we do that. Uh, okay. Now, what does that use? So it uses one boffin and one part, but no blueprints. Good, because we only got one of them. Yeah, we've got loads of boffins. It's a fucking nerd sausage f factory fest business going on here. So we're doing the retros, so... Yeah. That is really fucking uh, obtuse, that thing. Yeah, we'll be one part. Oh, hang on, will we? Yeah, we will, because boosters need uh, two parts. I mean, you probably wouldn't do it this way. We need to do that once more, so uh, boosters. Here we go. So, so only really thrusters, boosters, or retros that would improve the handling. So blaster and, and armor and all that and cargo. Well, blaster would be nice because you can uh, get out the uh, larger ground targets more easily. But the, you know the little shits in the jetpacks, which are mobile action command by uh, Matchbox Stroke Lesney. You go and check that out, and uh, the little white figures that come with the uh, Mountain Rescue, aka the Mac Mountain, as I used to call it. Uh, that's what those jetpack guys look like. Yeah, I, c I can still see the understairs cupboard. You know, when I think about it and opening that door, and uh, my dad's. Uh, my dad's mechanics tools are in there. He had one of those. Uh, uh, what's the name of um, those really expensive uh, metal? You know, I don't know what they're called. You know, mechanics have them. They've got it's like something the size of an ottoman, usually red, made out of metal. It's a very famous brand. Of them. He, he had one of those, and uh, there was loads of other junk on top of that because obviously there's no. No opening lid on the top. So there's nothing that uses just boffins. So let's uh, check out the handling now. So I think those first three are quite essential probably. Right, they probably should have made an effort on this part of the game engine to do more than like those colours. I'm sure I selected mix mode. They're a little difficult to see. But it is a single load game, so that could be a memory restriction. Right, so it turns around quicker, but the deceleration. So I reckon retro rockets next. So, right, okay. Come on. Why is it bouncing me like that? That's a real cunt, that one. Here we go, right. If there was three parts, we could have upgraded both, but we'd do the um, retros. Do the retros. Yeah, we'll do the retros and the thrusters. We can do both of those, right? So I need to uh, pick up two parts now. But we do get to check out the ship now. So I can't remember what it's. So we did the retros. I think it's the boosters that. A three out of four, so yeah, this is actually nice to play now. I can live with a weedy power, but this is probably what the ship should have been like at the start. 
because you won't play uh, Drop Zone where you start out as like a, a fucking on his deathbed fucking Jensen Button. No, Benjamin Button. Do you know Jensen Button? Benjamin Button type situation and you get stronger and stronger in it until you end up in your prime which is like your early teens to mid teens. So yeah, it's more like it. So um, turns around really fast, which is important for firing, and it decelerates. So those two we got at four are probably more important than the other one. I can't remember what the specific names are now. So. Uh, Different, they're a real cunt when they're like that. Any glitching, minor glitching, you see anywhere in the game uh, after the light force incident uh, where the music fucked up and I thought the seed had gone bye bye. Right. On old faithful, bless it, I've been using this C64 for like a year and a half nearly, a year and a quarter actually. See, they're getting more difficult to land on. Maybe it's just more difficult to land on when you've got like all the extra stuff on there. So you get like four different sets of sceneries, night and day, different colours for the same actual scenery. It is quite a varied game. Although I probably should have had some sort of like lighting effect or something to simulate like underfloor lighting or something in that area now obviously uh you know back in 1987 i would have not had a problem with uh, seeing stuff like that the levels are quite long so it's quite easy to uh but uh yeah no, I can't find a tunnel in this one. I'm sure every area has to have a tunnel. So we'll leave that one for now. You can always leave an area. So you just have to get to the uh, dome that hasn't got the, uh, you know, the two buildings or whatever they are in there. Ah, oh, you can't. I needed two, I think. Yeah, boosters. I don't know what boosters do. There should be a, a landing computer like Elite's docking computer. Docking in Elite was a real fucking pain in the arse. Uh, it's not something you should have had to get used to from the start of the game. Maybe when the game was like, yeah, you know, maybe you had to buy a different docking computer when you went further out in the galaxy. I don't fucking know, you know that. But, uh, you know, that's something they, they probably should have either put as an upgrade or just made it easier. <clears throat> However, you know, yeah. 8-bit games like this, you know, especially if there's any kind of shooting involved, you really did need to be uh, approaching, uh, you know, Julian Rignall levels of competence to actually enjoy these 8-bit games. It's only really when stuff like Cinemaware come out where it's like, it's not that important to be an arcade genius. Ah, fuck off. Ah, Jesus Christ. Ah uh, no! Ah, oh, just hope the camera battery lost now. So I oh, know I think we've been here. Oh shit! Yeah, well, luckily we can uh, go somewhere else in. 120. Ah, oh, fucking hell! They're all night time scenes now. See, there's nothing there unless it deliberately hides them but you should see ah oh, there we go better be a fucking easy one 
No parts, aye. and no blueprints either. What a cunt. So that's a very difficult level uh, to do, and yet they're giving you fuck all in exchange. Have we gone to the uh, night side of the planet or something? I think in the right lighting atmosphere, these actually would look quite good, these graphics. I don't know, shit. Ah, it would be this one, wouldn't it? So you get more stuff there. So the important thing is to have your ship basically, um, you know, up to spec before you get to those kind of levels. So there's a lot of strategy in how you get there, what compromises you're prepared to make. So we've got five parts, 11 boffins. See, shields and maintenance droid wouldn't actually make any difference now because I've got trainer options on. But you're going to have to weigh up, you know, which is more important, shields. So, um, you know what, I need to find my action replay cartridge so I can actually save these. <coughs> which might be a slight problem. Because uh, the action replay might not work via the SD to IEC on anything other than a D64 image. Well, I suppose you could create D71 images. That's an interesting uh, thing we're going to have to sort out. But if I had an action replay cartridge, it'd be exactly like a battery backed up uh, NES cartridge, which usually cost about 10 quid more than the other ones. Uh, and you know, I did get even more enjoyment out of the game. So I wonder if now that we're gonna like yeah, blasters needs, oh, they don't need a lot of parts actually. So we need to uh, max out the boosters. Our oh, blaster is quite pathetic, but um, so anyway, let's max out the boosters. So from a performance point of view. This will give us the maximum we can get on our ship. So now we've got three of these. So we've got 11 boffins. So we won't do armor, but we will do the blaster. So, should we do it one at a time? What's the maximum we can have on the blasters? Five, so we need two more parts anyway. It does use quite a lot of boffins, but a very small amount of parts. So if you collect two boffins twice and go through two tunnels, so you have to clear two areas, you can upgrade your blasters once. It is quite a difficult game, I will say that. But then, Zelda is not an easy RPG. You would not play Zelda if you are on the fence about whether you wanted that kind of RPG. And you have to remember, those kind of RPGs, they have that stupid, uh, you know, animated sequence, pseudo battle scenes. It's not like you're playing Gauntlet or an end of level Guardian on an actual arcade adventure or something. No. It is all these stats and bollocks that, you know, people with fucking 20-sided uh, dice love. That is, that is not for me. And that is one of the reasons why I haven't played Times of Law because it's not just the instructions for that. I really need to be in the exactly, you know, the right sort of frame of mind and atmosphere to get the most out of that game because I'm only going to play it once probably. I might, you know, try it a few times but I'm only going to play it properly once probably. There's too many games and not enough lifespan. And the way the uh, the Indian variant of the virus is spreading in uh, Bolton, is it? This is not looking good, mate. Apparently 5 o'clock today. So two hours from now, we're going to have some sort of update about that. But uh, uh, So we could upgrade the uh, blasters two more times, but really we need two more parts. 
but we do get to check out the uh, you know our newly equipped ship so let's try and stay on the daylight area of the game thank fuck for that so these tiny little men sprites in multi-color mode and they're about four pixels wide well eight double pixel wide pixels by about eight high they're yeah, better than lemmings i think i did get that upgrade so actually i, I might have got some extra parts here so it's actually not too bad right this is the kind of thing you'd have in uh, a defender knockoff and uh, yeah, most of the section above uh, the horizon level is actually Defender Star Race style, uh, you know, shoot them up business, just like Falcon Patrol is. They should have had rapid fire, really. That's not a perfect game by any means, but... Uh, Just in case. Ooh, oh, I would be one of these ones, wouldn't it? Ah, oh, no, see, you have to be sticking to the fucking platform. So, it's like landing on an aircraft carrier. If your wheels come off the, uh, you know, the deck of the aircraft carrier, you're, you're not really going to fucking make it, are you? Let's be honest with that one. No, you're going to fall off the edge. Like the Top Gear Jaguar XJS with nitrous or whatever that Stig got killed in. Oh, all that bollocks, me. And you can't, you have to kind of judge it just right, see? It is possible. So, alright, let's uh, go and upgrade the blasters now. Yeah, there we go. So uh, it's kind of like the kind of uh, horizontally uh, multi, well, dual direction, horizontally scrolling shoot them up that someone who loved Elite would love. There's a lot of stuff to tinker with here and it all does make a difference. And what you choose to do when and the amount of risk you take to get the extra stuff you want quicker, you know, you can keep going backwards and forwards into alien infested areas and getting loads of boffins. Or you can just get two out of the four boffins and, uh, you know, well, you might actually lose them because they're not indestructible in the game. So, anyway, we've got four parts. And uh, I didn't really notice that much of a difference with a blaster. So, let's do two at a time. Uh, we're all right with uh, the old boffins there, so uh, yeah. So armor, I'm not that bothered about. That's not going to affect the the way the game plays. So yeah, see we're at one. That goes up to two. Two out of five. Let's see if we can uh, notice a difference at three. Couldn't find the uh, exit on that one, but I'll, I'll try again. Yeah, you perhaps you could have like a, a shrinking module, so you're fucking not massive. So that's the en the entrance to get out of the map. And here is this one. See, that's a bit confusing. But once you know what you're looking for, you can find it. So. You mustn't land too early, that's the thing now. But after all that, oh, you bastard. Is there any more over here? Let's go down here then. More of a daylight person nowadays, considering I've got light blindness. Right, the zipstick can take care of that, so. So the radar screen works really well, actually. I well, we might as well collect some boffins while we're here. Yeah, 
yeah, you wouldn't be shooting at them like that. Because uh, you actually kill them. It's like Defender, you can kill the humans on the ground. The ones you're trying to protect. <clears throat> oh, I had fucking rapid fire. Oh, you cunt. That means it's taking ammo crates. Yeah, bollocks. So the graphics kind of look more samey at night. Yeah, that's never going to work, mate. Yeah, that's a bit finickety. <clears throat> All right, let's get on with the job of upgrading the blasters and uh, we'll see what maximum is like. I mean, avoiding them <clears throat> and strategically picking them off like you would in Defender if the fire button was broken on the arcade. Uh, that might be uh, the situation here. You know, it takes too many boffins to actually upgrade the blasters. You'll be really careful with that as well. So they probably should make this uh, you know your pointer uh, <clears throat> it's not a mouse pointer it's just like you know what I'm talking about menu selection pointer that thing I probably should have slowed down the uh, speed at which that moves around because it's not the zip stick mate zip stick is the best joystick in the world the best Jerry the best oh we're back in the daytime right? They still take multiple hits. So they take two hits now. Yeah, they take one hit. So even with maximum blasters, <clears throat> I prefer it. Oh look, there's mines in the air now. So there's always new stuff. This game is really well thought out. <coughs> Uh, well, okay, apart from the uh, palette here, which is a bit shit. But, uh, so, let's, uh, let's go back to headquarters, which they probably should have done different, so it's very obvious. But, uh, like I said, my teenage eyeballs wouldn't have had a problem with that, so. Uh, right, cargo needs three parts. So each time you upgrade the cargo area, you can fit in one more boffin. So you've got to weigh that up with how many so it takes four boffins. So you probably wouldn't do that one actually. Uh, armor, it's not really... So you don't actually have... Um, so these are the only other two we can have now. So. I'd have to play this. Uh, with a version that lets me not have maximum shields. But other stuff on. So I can see how effective your shields are. Because that's a, a one shot deal. You either waste your eight boffins, your four parts and your one blueprint to have shields or you don't. So that's quite an investment, so it's important to know. So these are things you'd find out playing the game every day after school, aka uh, playing this game instead of uh, revising for certain exams. Well, the mock exams as they're called which I never saw the point for because I remember saying to one of my teachers well are we going to have these questions in the exam and she's like probably not but similar ones I'm like but not these actual questions and not even the same topics even and she was like yeah I said well then it's a waste of time because I remember saying to her I don't know what you did over the Christmas period, but I was uh, brushing up on the highway code so I could pass my fucking driving test and become a man. Like a man. 
Yeah, that's from Phone Shop, but uh, is so everything up to here is maxed out. So armor, that's a defensive thing. Cargo is a strategic thing. You need it will take you four boffins. It will take you four levels, like four areas on the map, to recover the four boffins. Well, no, two actually, because yeah, possibly two if you're lucky. You go to like an area and you get like four boffins and you, you go through two tunnels, you should have enough parts. So that's at least two trips. So that's a long haul thing. I think basically when you're thrown into the game where, you know, you've got such shitty quality thrusters. The way I like to think of it is your, uh, your vehicle got damaged in the landing and that's why it's a fucking piece of shit. And my tea's run out. Uh, and you have to repair it. So it's a bit like uh, No Man's Sky. You find a ship and then you've got to do all this bollocks to actually get it fucking uh, able to leave the planet. Which is fucking annoying. Which is why No Man's Sky is inferior to Rescue on Fractalus. Always will be. Because it's less fun to play. And that is the end of that review of that one. The battery light is actually flashing. So, um, is there anything we can upgrade worth a shit? No, because armor is not going to make any difference. Cargo is not going to make any difference. So, we've got enough parts. We just need boffins for the shields. Uh, uh, yeah, because we've got one blueprint. We've got plenty of ammo. Which doesn't run out anyway. Although worryingly, it is now at 899. So yeah, I think we'll go with uh, shields. So we need five boffins, and we got everything else. Good. Five boffins, it is then. And uh, the cargo requires four, but I think that's bullshit. Making the cargo bigger, that's grunt work. Because it's not like you're magically doubling it with a fucking TARDIS style device. So there are changes I would have. But, you know, it's not 1987 now. I wish it was, mate. Not because uh, the 80s were great. Because I would have been a lot more healthy. Actually, I didn't check if there's any pop right. There's a white dot on the bottom of the radar, which is very important. So this is a game you cannot play without your TV glasses on. Come on, mate. Just do the decent thing and get on board right. So, you have to exit the level, which is not that one. Actually, most of the enemies on this level are actually on the ground. But they're the ones you have to take out first before they shoot all the bloody scientists. A bit of a Schrodinger's cat going on there because it's like, well, if I can't get to that level, why are these scientists not being killed while I can't get to that level for like two hours in some cases, I would guess. Yeah, see, we didn't collect all the boffins. You knob! Boffins at night. Sounds like a comedy to me. There you go, mate. Where's your little mates? There goes another one. Alright, oh, right. I've managed to pick up two anyway by accident. So, um, so the windows, the, the domes are quite hard to see at the at night time. So, so we've got seven boffins. Yeah, we need eight for shields. I wonder if shields would make you indestructible. So, yeah. So, the next time I play this game, we're just going to try and get shields. Right. Battery charge later. Which has occurred. That's what that means. <coughs> You'll now notice the shields are on. 
I went with shields. What a cliffhanger, eh? Still better than fucking... Yeah, anyway. So I've done everything on this area of the map. So... Luckily I've forgotten what all the levels look like up to this point, so that's okay. Yeah, no boffins, no boffins. Yeah, look, it gets insane, insanely difficult up this area. Yeah, look, look at the number of aliens you have to kill. Ooh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Let's test out, well, we can't really test out. Bugger all, I just went to see if the shield is actually visible. Now, so how would I know if my shield's working or not? Oh, you want to catch that thing. So you can catch up with it. Now that we've got the uh, ship back to original design specification. So, would I play this without cheats ever again? <clears throat> well, that's an interesting point because sometimes the cheats are there uh, to actually fix uh, aspects of the game that they should have done differently anyway, in hindsight. So, it's no different to today when you get like, you know, patches and uh, updates to games. Obviously, you didn't get that before. <clears throat> so, I mean, I can't see anything that would say the shield is going down or anything like that. Then again, I didn't notice the radar before. So. Right, see, now I can't remember which area I was in. There's no boffins there. You need a boffin, mate. Yeah, there's one buff in there. Cargo clear. Ah, see? <clears throat> That's very bad. Yeah, you can shoot your power-ups, which I don't like. I'm not sure if this is a graphical glitch. I noticed something like that somewhere else. Um, so if you want a full tape loading experience, Wow, that thing takes a lot of hits. Well, there's not really a lot going on here. No, actually, there is. So once your uh, ship is fully upgraded, it does play like it probably should have. Uh, I'm not sure why they made your ship so rubbish. <coughs> So, <clears throat> it's literally a case of, uh, you know, you have to upgrade your technology uh, before it's too late, really. Which is a bit like the modern world, where uh, we've got to find alternatives to, uh, you know, fossil fuels. And uh, a great alternative uh, to using too many fossil fuels is wear a fucking condom and force every human being on the planet to be out, have a maximum of two children worldwide. Then the population can't go up. You've got coronavirus taking out the, uh, you know, the, the top one quarter of the uh, age span. So if you stop more fucking fermented spunk bubbles appearing. Uh, job done, mate. Less people equals less fucking... Uh, yeah, anyway, you get the idea. So... I think next time we'll have to uh, have the cat not in front of the camera. <laughs> All right, buddy. Can't get any uh, decent footage of the uh, screen nut on this. That's a shame. That's a shame. 